are permitted is that Sussex's $330 million offer to make amends and strip them of their titles was refused by King Charles. Prince Charles were going to learn a revelation that portrays a fairly depressing image of Prince Harry's condition and his conduct towards his own family, making us furious as Prince Harry demands money for reconciliation prior to peace being restored. How depressing can it be to put one's own interests before of sincere reconciliation? How far can one go? Prince Harry may be attempting to make amends with his father, King Charles, according to recent reports. Though you might not think it, there may be another reason for this prospective reconciliation. According to royal writer Angela Lemon, money appears to be a major motivating factor behind Harry's actions in this case. To the point where he is treating it like his own father, Harry has been obstinate in his pursuit of financial success. In 2020, when Henry and Meghan Markle left the royal family, King Charles was exceedingly upset due to his public pranks. Harry was made aware that he couldn't have one foot in and one foot out if he wanted to be a working royal by Queen Elizabeth. After their departure, the royal fund no longer provided funding for them as a result, but there's a very frightening detail. Harry has demonstrated an utter lack of respect for his own family in his behaviours since that time. He's been badgering his dad for years, asking for money and apologies. This doesn't seem like the behavior of a caring son who wants to get better. If Harry treats his own family so poorly, it begs the question of whether he truly understands what a real family is all about. It is disheartening to hear that Harry has been using his family as a means to an end and making their lives miserable with the constant demands. It seems that Harry is using his family as a means to an end because it is clear from his actions that he doesn't truly understand what a real family is all about. The emphasis is on obtaining more money and resources, not on mending relationships. Even one must now wonder whether Harry and Meghan are genuinely willing to change their ways or if this pursuit of wealth will continue to take precedence. King Charles, who undoubtedly loves his son, is reportedly reluctant to reconnect with Harry and Meghan until he witnesses positive changes on their part. The scenario is made more complicated by news from reason that the sexes are having financial difficulties and are losing their lucrative partnership with ideals. It is clear that upholding their opulent lifestyle is a primary concern, but at what cost? It's a sad stage and the time in affairs when the value of family and sincere reconciliation is overshadowed by selfish benefit. It's time for some serious introspection because the world is waiting to see how far Prince Harry will go in his pursuit of success and when he'll finally understand the true worth of the family. In resolving the issues involving Markle and Harry, King Charles is doing an extremely great job. Since a psychopath lacks conscience, he is dealing with one. The king could let his lawyers handle Harry instead of letting him trouble him about his request, knowing that Harry is under the control of a psychopath. The monarch may start out strongly and not let Harry's request disturb him. If he would let the greatest solicitors handle Harry's requests, King Charles could find his life to be more peaceful. Having a dialogue with Markle or Harry should no longer be necessary after that. The money management skills of King Charles are excellent. With regard to Markle and Harry, the British government has been really helpful in maintaining order.